All right. So now we are going to use uh, bar total. Uh, I would request uh, please mute yourselves. All right. Nayab, I will guide you about Bard Google. Nayab, can you see over here on your screen? I'm clicking huh? back over here. Type yeah. on your Google search engine Bard Google. Type. First of you, all of you type on your search engines. Google search engines. I, I typed and I found that uh, I already had an account once. You already had an account, no? Good girl. So it's easy. You know why it's easy to yeah. access Bard? Because you yeah, yeah, already have a Google easy. account. Yeah. It It is just asking to uh, just put in prompt and then uh, yeah. start working. Yes, start working. It will ask you to create a prompt as uh, ChatGPT did. All right. So, yes. Uh, how many, all of you, please, um, on your search engine, please type Bard Google and then... The first uh, search which appears on your screen, click on that. Like how I've done over here. You can see over here, I'm clicking it again for all of you. I already Sorry, but on my laptop, it's saying that can't access this service. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. Okay, Aisha. Why you can't access this service? Is there some... I don't know. Is there some issue? I don't know. There must be some problem. All right, we will, uh, mm -hmm. I will uh, sort out your issue personally, okay? Okay, okay, for okay. sure. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we need to sort it out because this is also something very interesting. All right, so teachers, I've been using Bard Google. You can see it's again saying hello to me. If you are using Google, uh, Bard Google for the first time, it will say uh, uh, hi or hello. All right, hi or hello. So again, just like the function is just like chat GPT, you can see below over here, enter a prompt here. All right. So enter a prompt. Now what is, do we have uh, a social studies teacher? Let's create something different. Right. An essay of uh, 200 words on my favorite on my wait on a visit to the beach all right, let's see what Bard Google does. Can you see? Can you see? Teachers, can you see? Bard has created an essay for me of 200 words. All right. It has created an essay for me. The function is just same like chart GPT. All right. You can see on your left hand side, these are the things that I have been doing with uh, with Bard. All right. Uh, I have even uh, created a lesson plan on creative writing. Can you see? But you know, the whole issue is for Urdu teachers, if you have in page, in page software in your laptops. You can easily use Bard then to create your uh, lesson plans. I don't have in page because I'm not an Urdu teacher, but uh, yes, it did work for me in uh, in some case. It did create a Urdu lesson plan, but it was like, you know, partially in English and partially in Urdu, all right? This is totally in Urdu over here, all right? Uh, there's another the thing, uh, trick that you can use, and that is if you can use uh, Google Translator. Uh, Nayap, you can do it on um, on WhatsApp on your mobile phone also. You can access Bart from uh, Google search engine. All right, Nayap, type on your mobile search engine 
Bard Google and you can access it. I use even Bard from my cell phone. My cell phone, I use uh, Canva, I use Bard, I use uh, Quiz Gecko. I created a quiz also on Quiz Gecko. I'll show you Quiz Gecko in a while. That's also another artificial intelligence tool. All right. So you, those who have in page, they can use, uh, they can use the for the writing Urdu writing for uh, this prompt over here. And another trick is that you can also use. Uh, have you seen Google Translator translate from English to Urdu? If you type in English and if it shows the translation in Urdu below, you can copy paste that translation and insert it over here and it can, it will help you. It will help you. All right. So you can see over here, I have been using BARD for various reasons. Um, I'll show you. Like this is like workplace culture. You can see the prompt over here, presentation on workplace culture, nipping the complaint culture in the bud. This only gave me some information, not a presentation, but information. All right. Same thing if you do with chat GPT, it will only give you information. It will not create a presentation for you, but it will guide you how you can create your slides with what information. All right. Uh, plus, what else did I use it for? I even asked, uh, you know, Bard to guide me about uh, some interesting teacher workshops. And this is what Bard Google gave me. See? I've been using it for suggestions also. So, Bard and ChatGPT work in the same way. Yes. All right. Good, Aisha. Access it from your phone. All of you, if you don't, if you cannot access it from your laptop, access it from your phones. All right. Good. So this is how I use Bard. All right. I'm giving you a few minutes to uh, create something on Bard. And then I will ask you to show me or maybe share your experience of uh, using Bard. Yes. Sidra, have you been using Bard? Yes. Am I audible? Can you all hear me? All right, Aisha Singh, yes. When you are done, then share your... Uh... Okay. Nayab, are you able to access uh, BART from your cell phone? Okay, now I've got it. Okay, good. I'm happy to hear that, Sidra. Yes, Serena, have you been using Bard? Anyone else who has been using Bard? Okay, make a ring. All right, I'm giving you five minutes for it. Okay. Oh, wow. This is something good. All right. Can you see the chat? Uh, Nayab has shared something in Urdu.
Nayab has shared a text. She's created a Urdu text on Bard. Fantastic. Am I going too fast with my explanation or is it just okay? Yes. Yes, create something on Bard. I want to see what you can create. Thank you, Miss Aisha. I was getting worried. I thought I was going too fast. And uh, next month, uh, I am presenting uh, at uh, Effective Teaching Series. And over there, I am going to uh, teach uh, teachers how to make use of Gamma. Gamma Artificial Intelligence Tool for Creating Presentations. Because uh, it can be used for any subject. Um, and it's very interesting when AI, where you see chat GPT creating lesson plans, uh, worksheets, test papers, exam papers, giving you suggestions, even Bard doing the same function functions. So, you know, uh, Gamma's uh, only function is to create, uh, you know, presentations. It can, uh, it has other functions, but I've, today I've used uh, the presentation mode. And I'll just give you a glimpse of what Gamma is like. But the entire thing, I will show it in my workshop, in my live session for effective teaching series. I'll show it to you today also. Just a glimpse of it. Maybe in the second class when we meet uh, tomorrow, maybe on Friday, I will show you how Gamma works. Good. Thank you, Miss Aisha. All right, has anyone created something? Because um, I need to show you something related to the third AI tool, which is uh, Quiz Gecko. And I will be inviting someone to come and play that quiz. Let's see who comes and plays the quiz. Yes, has anyone created uh, something on Bard Google? Yes, has anyone created something on Bard Google? All right, Sidra, what have you created? Okay, Nayab wants to explore. Nayab, try, bete, try experimenting also. Just not exploring, but also experiment with it. Okay, Sidra has created something. Okay, character comparison. That's wonderful. Wonderful. That's good, Sidra. That's wonderful. I like that. Nayab, when you did that Urdu text thing, that was also too good. And Sidra created a character sketch, I think, character comparison. Very good. Excellent. All right. So, let's move to the third one. God bless you, Bete. Okay, let's move to another one. Now, after Bard, 
I am going to introduce you now to another AI tool. And this AI tool's name is, can you see Quiz Gecko? Can you see over here? Just let me come back and show you how I did it. This is Quiz Gecko. All right. Now, on your search engine, type Quiz Gecko. Q U I Z G E C K O. Quiz Gecko. Now, Quiz Gecko is uh, it comes with uh, what you what I should say. It has a few things which you can use for free, but then the rest of it uh, comes with a price. All right. I'm not scaring anyone. Whichever uh, AI tool you use, they do come with a certain price. But they even have some features which you can use for free. So I tried out uh, Quiz Gecko. I just wanted to see how you can create a quiz on uh, Quiz Gecko. All right. Yes, have you typed on your um, Google uh, Quiz Gecko? You want me to show it to you how I got Quiz Gecko? Let me show it to you. I'm closing chat GPT, closing this. Okay. Let me show you how I got Quiz Gecko. Okay. This is Q U I Z. This is Google search. Okay. Can you see over here? Quiz Gecko. Now, this one. This is Quiz Gecko Al Question Generator. Make a test. Click on this. All right. She's logged in. That's good. Okay. What about the rest? What about the rest, rest of you? Yes. Have you uh, clicked on it? Yes. Yes. Log in for free, okay? Log in or sign in for free. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Easy one to access. Good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see this. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Achuji. So that means I can go straight over here. You know what I did, teachers? I created a quiz on photosynthesis. I took the text, you know, uh, from Google and I copy paste. And you know, the best part about Quiz Gecko is you can copy paste at least 2000 characters for free. 2000. All right. The text which I chose for photosynthesis contained, I think, around 1600 characters or 1600 words. And, uh, and I created, I generated a quiz. Okay. Since, uh, um, achha, one more thing. Uh, if you create, if you want more than, um, I'll just stop this. Uh, 